How's it going? It's Trader Joe's. Haven't talked to you in a while. I figured I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, some budget priced multi tools. Usually, um, I'm into the high end stuff, and generally, the reason why is because I find that the high end stuff uh, exceeds my expectations. You know, things like Leatherman, Leatherman Wave. This has been, you know, basically almost one of my EDCs every day for a while now, and uh, I've not had any problems with it. Uh, recently, though, I started to carry this one. This is a uh, Victorinox Swiss Tool Spirit. Um, I find it to be a bit more ergonomic and um, it ends up taking up a little bit less room in my pouch than, um, than this guy. And with basically almost the same functionality, if not more. Uh, but part of the problem with um, carrying very good quality tools is that when you come upon something of a lower quality, it kind of makes you do like a, um, uh, you know, kind of jades your expectations of what's, what would be considered uh, acceptable or exceptional. Um, now, last week I saw, well, actually, I bought this site unseen. Uh, I saw a review of another tool from this company, uh, Roxon. Um, and it was a, um, it was kind of like, it's going to be similar to this guy once I take this out. I guess I should have taken this out before I did the video. Um, however, actually, I'll do it while we're talking. Let's see. This it kind of gave me the impression when I, when I saw the packaging and stuff that, and I, and I did see a video on this one, that it would be uh, a, um, almost like, I kind of got the impression that it might be uh, like a Leatherman killer, you know, I thought that it would be a, like a low price um, sorry, This is getting stuck inside this little sheath, which is another thing, but all right And if you look at it, it looks pretty interesting um, It's got this uh, like pebbled kind of a texture on it It's black, you know similar to the black of a Leatherman um, But this has some unusual features in it. It has a ferro rod in the side of it. It's got spring-loaded uh, pliers. It has locking uh, sides. It comes with a pocket clip and that little uh, crappy pouch. Um, so, but before I talk about this, let me talk about this. Because I had gotten this, and this is the was the nexus for me thinking about getting this. Because I got, I ordered this last week. And this had come, and I was quite impressed with this. And what this is, it has a pocket clip, right? It's a pretty decent and quite sharp and beautifully ground Tanto blade on here. A very smooth operation. And then interestingly, the silver side here flips out like this, and then it flips out again, like that. And you get a nice big pair of scissors. So the quality of these scissors is, is excellent. Uh, all of these uh, machine parts are nicely rounded and smooth. Uh, it, it feels very decent. Um, you have this little mechanism here for closing it where the blade nests inside that and where this goes on to that and it just I figured this could be an ICDC knife and if this is this nice this would should be even nicer since this is quite a lot more uh, but it's not that much this was around $25 on Amazon um, when I took it out of the package you know, like uh, the first thing I did was I kind of did like this kind of a thing, like where I was like squeezing it a bit. And I, there's a lot of side to side play with the various components in this. See that? 
that rattle like that. And I mean, the blade though comes out nice, and the blade is very sharp. Uh, it's got a liner lock on that. Uh, there's other tools on here as well. Uh, the pliers, I got the impression that they have replaceable cutters. And it may well be, but they're not like an accessible... Um, there's not like a screw on here that you could take out. But the video I saw with the, for this company, with someone else using it, they were using these, these uh, hard wire cutters here, and they were cutting some pretty heavy duty wire, and there was no damage on those edges. So I figured, wow, it must be good quality, you know? And one of the things that I, that I do when I, when I check a multi-tool, I'm gonna show you right here. I'll open it up. I'll take my arm and I'll grab a hair or a few hairs and I just want to see if I could use this as a tweezer and I consider that if the tip of the plier is precisely ground enough that it can pull a, a human hair then that means that the tips are very nicely aligned Right, just the very, very tip, not, not the area back here where you can see through it, but just the very tip. Because I will use this as tweezers, these are Leathermans. If I take the uh, Victorinox Swiss Tool Spirit, you do the same thing. Easy, you can easily grab hair. And then another thing I do is I, I kind of just grab just the very the tip of the skin and I could actually pull the skin almost like a cell at a time if you look at it you see that that's something that a very precisely made tool could or should be able to do hope this is in focus um, yeah it's probably better right there um, so let's try this guy the rocks on It is grabbing a hair, but it also slides out. If I try to grab the skin, though, I cannot. I mean, if I grab a big enough hunk of skin, I could probably pull it off. But I look carefully at it, and the tips are not precisely aligned. They're slightly off. I mean, they're... put together nicely but there's a slight gap between this top jaw and this bottom jaw if you look carefully at it there's a little bit of a bulge on that side than this side but if you look at the Leatherman it's dead on see that because I use these as tweezers, believe it or not. Now, I know that you'd probably say, well, you know, these are not meant to be tweezers and they're meant for grabbing screws. So should they, they, would they be able to do that? Of course, I'm sure that this will do fine. Um, but what I'm not impressed with is like the way that some parts of this flex. I mean, it weighs eight ounces, which is similar in weight to the Leatherman. So it's not, I thought it would be lighter since it's like plastic on the outside. So it should be lighter. I'm not sure why it's heavier or why it's heavy. Um, but I just figured I would let people know in case they were thinking of getting this one to, you know, figure that if you're paying $25 for this, you know, as opposed to... 70, 80, 90 or more for a Leatherman or even more for a Victorinox. The reason why these are more money is because they're machined better. They're made with, by people that are more skilled at putting things together. 
Um, this, I kind of got the impression, feeling the way it, it flexes around and stuff, that, that, that whoever made this was not in the same league as the person who made this. So, like this might have been done like a Friday, right before the five o'clock whistle. <laughs> and this might have been done like on Tuesday, you know, when the guy was like, in the, you know, was nice, rested over the weekend and stuff like that. And he's just in the middle of his game, you know, and he's doing good, you know. He ground it nice. I mean, it's sharp. This is sharp. But it's just the fit and finish and the, um, the way that this works is a lot more refined to me, in my opinion, than this. This is the, uh, the Roxxon Spark. And this is the uh, model number, CM1349, multifunction pliers. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a good company for certain things, but other things, you know, let's see if there's any pictures of other stuff that they might have in here. No, this is just how to use this. It's got a ferro rod, it's got a whistle. Can't open a bottle opener, things like that. You know, I, I didn't, I didn't go through the trouble of taking all that out to show you, but um, I just figured I would kind of give you a little bit of a heads up. Hopefully, this helps somebody who might be in, in the market for these things, because uh, these have been making the rounds. I've been seeing a number of videos, and I was impressed by seeing the videos of other people with these, but I did not notice any of them mentioning the slop and stuff like that that theirs had. So unless I just happen to have one that's, you know. Not the greatest. I don't know. I'll let you decide that, but maybe wait a little while before pulling the trigger on one of these because, you know, maybe they have to get their uh, machining up to snuff or something, you know? I don't know. It's just uh, the kind of stuff that, if it was from Leatherman, I would have sent this thing back, you know? See that? And this is the, uh, the ferro rod part comes out and then it's got like a whistle. See that little hole you can blow into? That's kind of interesting, you know, and I haven't seen that yet. I mean, I think there's something from Leatherman that's like that, but I don't want to spend that kind of money for that. And this does have an awl in case, there, I, know, I know some people like the awls and I do too. Uh, let me see, where do I get the awl out of here? It's got a saw, but the saw is like very, very short. Well, here's the other thing that I don't really like too much. Look, it has like a, a Phillips, but it's one of those 2D Phillips, like where the, uh, it's not a full Phillips, you know, unlike, this is a real Phillips, this is really good, I'll show you the awl if I can get that out, here's the awl with the hole in it. I mean, they lock, and you gotta use this to unlock it. This button over there. I wish it had scissors on it, but it doesn't. But this one does. Gigantic scissors. So, if you were looking for a knife with scissors and nothing else, I would get this one. But if you're looking for like a, maybe glove, a glove compartment, multi-tool, this might be all right. But I wouldn't use this as an EDC knife because of that slop that's in there. It would bother me at this point. I mean, unless, they, unless they're unless they gonna come out with uh, you know, better production and then uh, you know change the whole game up, you know? All right, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Take it easy. Bye-bye.